We have a whale watching excursion we're gonna be going on. Look, I spotted two big whales. Good morning. Uh, when we left you guys last night, we were heading to dinner. Yeah, uh, we ended up finding a, a pretty good spot. It's called McMinim. McMinimins Brew House Pub or Lighthouse Brew. Uh, yeah. It, it's yeah, something like yeah. that. Uh, it was pretty good food. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I was kind of worried since there's only three restaurants in the town and they were all in strip malls yeah that they you know weren't going to be the greatest but they were actually pretty good and they had a lot of beer choices yeah i got the uh the terminator stout yeah so i guess that's their popular thing because they've got merch for it and everything so yeah did I you mean, like it, it it was pretty good actually yeah. uh it wasn't as good as the porter i had at the casino but it was pretty good yeah well, anyway, so we are all showered up. We ended up staying at KOH Campground last night. Yep. Um, just, just sleeping here. I mean, it's okay. The showers weren't as nice as the other campground. I will say that. Uh, it took a long time for it to, for them to heat up. There were these weird screws at the bottom of the drain. Yeah, that, you showed me a video of that. That. It, somebody could literally like snag yeah, their foot open on Yeah, they're like elevated like this much off the ground. Like somebody didn't screw them all the way into the ground. I was ripping my feet on them the whole time. So Ugh. that wasn't cool, but you know what? I'm showered, not gonna complain, but. <laughs> yep, nice and clean and ready to go move on for the day. So our plans right now for the day are we're gonna head about 25 minutes south to Depot Bay. And we have a whale watching excursion we're going to be going on. Uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. It's like a small six person vessel. Yeah. So a little more personal. I think it's only about an hour and a half long. I think it was 55 or 60 a person. Yeah, not so, terrible. Not terrible. So we're going to go check that out. And, but first, I think we're going to go get some coffee, maybe a little snack. Yeah. So let's go do that. So we just stopped for coffee at the Human Bean. Um, they give you a little human bean on top of your coffee? She did not tell us what that was, so we'll find out. But we got a caramel cold brews, and then while we were in the drive-thru, I dropped my breakfast, which was the biscotti from yesterday. I'm so, I'm so mad. Jeff kindly got me some new stuff to try. Okay, I'm about to try this little thing that they put on here, so. What is it? Okay. What is it? I think it was a chocolate covered. Maybe almond? Maybe espresso bean? I don't know. <laughs> I dropped mine when I got my coffee. It's somewhere down in the door. Well, it was really good, so. Oh, God. Did you read that? No. They flatten these children's heads? so that they could tell that they were part of their tribe. So we made it to Depot Bay. Yep, we got like 45 minutes until our whale excursion. You should check out this super awesome view we found though. Look at how pretty that is. It's absolutely beautiful. It is.
Look, I spotted two big whales. <laughs> Here's another view of the lookout point. A lot of nice benches over here. Just look at that, it's beautiful. It is so pretty. Our van's parked over there. just made it over to the docks where the boat's gonna be. So just waiting for Jeff so we can head out. Big guy and a little extra guy. up our excursion with whale tail charters um, it was really fun we only saw one whale unfortunately and it was only a little bit the... I, I don't even think we got any footage of it if you get to see anything it's just gonna be this little, little nubbin of its back yeah maybe. but it was really fun um, our guide made it fun and informational. He told us a lot about the area. It's called Boilers Bay or something like that. Uh, it's from an old steamboat that crashed back in the day. Uh, there's a boiler down at the bottom of the harbor there or whatever. Yeah, and there's a couple other places he told us about Pirate's Cove. Yeah, that was pretty funny. It's It was named after a guy that bought a boat and called it the Pirate Ship, even though it had nothing to do with pirating and that's where he parked it and so i guess a bunch of people parade around town wearing pirates costumes and yeah. there's a pirates coffee bar and all that they stuff. make it a big deal in this town but it's really just named after some guy with a boat yeah nothing to do with pirates at all so even though we didn't see a lot of whale action the boat ride was a lot of fun um it's pretty chilly out still but nothing was, we can't handle it was very cold she didn't get as wet as i did both of my arms yeah. were soaked from playing around with the GoPro in the water and yeah. getting hit by a few waves. You get a little more wet if you're sitting down, so. Yeah, probably. If you're brave enough to stand up, I would recommend that. So there's a little bit of a history with the harbor, too. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the world's smallest navigable harbor. Uh, there was one point where the water was less than nine feet below us coming in. Uh, really cool and also in the harbor there was some really cute uh, harbor lions is what they called them I think harbor seals that's harbor what they seals. were harbor seals yep yeah so we saw some cute harbor seals are those babies there's a couple babe puppies yeah. Yeah. Seal pup. babies that time of year I guess springtime just two mamas it's cute Passed out on the back. There's, there's actually all, they all got pups. Uh, the other pups, pups laying up above it. The... They're so <laughs> <I'm kidding>. cute. <laughs> My hands may have froze off, but I survived. Not nice out there. <laughs> that was fun. Coming back to when you're going with it, it ain't bad, but you gotta come home sometime. We are headed to Rogue Brewery which is a new port, which is about 20, 20, 25 minutes away from us south. So we're gonna go get some lunch there. Jeff's gonna try some of their local beer. Yep. It looks like a pretty cool place, so hopefully it's not too packed, but yeah, it's a really beautiful Saturday afternoon. Here we go.
there's a little bit of a line for sure. Would you say it's killer cauliflower? This burger is almost as big as my head. Let's see if I can get it in my mouth. We're full. Stuffed. To the max. We're back in the van. We just went and ate at Rogue Brewery and Pub. That place was interesting. I don't know. It was like a maze walking in there. <laughs> yeah, it was. Literally, in the hallways are so tight and there's no way of telling like when somebody's going to come around and uh, just come around the next corner. So you're walking through doorways. Mm -hmm. People aren't looking and they're bumping into you. Then uh, we headed to the gift shop and we wanted to try out their root beer. They have they make their own craft root beer, so that's not good. <laughs> that's not our kind of root beer. No. Yeah, that wasn't good. No. Uh, I do not recommend if you like a like traditional a, vanilla. Like your classic A and W root beer, yeah. you know, it's got plenty of vanilla flavor to it. This, this doesn't. No. So now we're right. sitting here with four of them that we're not going to drink. Literally the box says a delicious taste of sarsaparilla with a sweet honey kick. You should have known with just the delicious taste of sarsaparilla that it wasn't going to be. I should have read the box first. Well now we're just chilling in the van, um, taking a second, yep. and I don't know what our other plans are yet. We're just chilling in Newport. I think we might end up staying here tonight. Or somewhere close by for sure. We had plans to keep going south, but I don't know if we're going to. Honestly, I really am digging Newport right now. It is absolutely gorgeous. All There's so many viewpoints. Um, we didn't even take you guys to all of them with us. This is this is definitely the, the coast that we were hoping to get to see. Yeah. Like everything else has been really pretty so far, but we're finally to the point where it's opening up and you have just tons of ocean views with waves crashing against rocks and yep. uh, pillars of stone just jutting out of the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really cool. I'm guessing it just the further south you get to California, it's just going to keep getting prettier. So. It's a very pretty view. Look at that, you guys. Holy crap. Sadly, the lookout's closed. Kind of some bull crap. Mm -hmm. 
so we're gonna go check out the Devil's Churn. We're gonna do a little hike here. It cost five dollars for a day pass for parking, so just keep that in mind. Satan, why are you so prominent in Oregon? We've seen the Devil's Cauldron, the Devil's Punch Bowl, Punch Bowl and now the Devil's Churn. Amanda, don't be leading us the wrong direction today, please. If you guys want a shortcut to get down there, just kind of jump over that ledge. Toss it down the mountain, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Same. Okay, so looks like there's two different paths we can take. So this takes us down to the rocks right here. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's take this one. I'll take this one and then we'll check out that one next. Maybe, if we survive. And then there's the puppies. Nice even footing. Nothing to worry about. Let's say we're going the correct way today as well. I'm rather impressed with how nicely this is paved. Doesn't look bad at all. Seems like a quick, easy little hike, if you can call it that. Yeah, going up is going to suck a lot, but can't be any worse than yesterday. That stuff is super slippery. Soggy salad bad. Yes, fat people can climb rocks too, just not as well. That's where we were originally looking at earlier. When we were looking down here, that's where we were standing. But look at how much better the view is down here. Now we got a little baby man on a rock. Climbing for her life, not knowing how she's gonna get out of here. She survived. Devil's turn spin. We're gonna go try out the second trail. Don't really know where this goes. It's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. Ah. All right, we're gonna try a different trail, but we don't know where it goes, so wish us luck.
these are so unique. They're so much different than what we have in Michigan. Mm -hmm. There's a little bunch right there. Looks like it splits again in two ways. Three ways. Good thing Amanda's not navigating this by herself. She'd get lost. Which way should I go? Uh, I think the three ways is actually both go to the same location. That goes too? Well, it goes down to a bench and then it also goes to the stairs. There's a nice bench to take a break. And then you can see this view. Pretty cute place. It looks like this actually loops all the way around. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, devil's clogged in return. I'm gonna recreate how Jeff runs. I can't even run that good. Well, for five bucks, that was actually really eventful. We thought it was just gonna be a small little, you know, hike down to a like a little lookout, but instead we were able to climb around on the rocks and there was a loop that took us right back to the parking lot. We thought we were going on a whole nother uh, trail, but instead it just ended up leading us right back here, which was really nice. Uh, I think we are gonna go drive down the coast some more, see if we can find some more cool scenic overlooks. Hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with every time we update a new video. Well, look at it! So we drove down the coast some more and checked out a few more lookouts. Uh, as we were driving into Florence, we saw this cool sign that said Three Rivers Casino and Resort. So we decided we'd go hang out at the Adult Arcade again for a little bit and maybe backtrack a little bit later to get some dinner. Yeah. Let's go see if our luck ran out. It probably did. It probably did. Foreshadowing, it probably did. <laughs> So we just left Three Rivers Casino and we came out just over $200 ahead. Yeah, we, uh, we ended up getting a couple beers while we were there. I got a barrel aged stout and Amanda got a Marionberry uh, cider. 
that came out to 11 bucks. So, yeah. I mean, just over $200 yeah. I had. So, um, we're gonna say that we're getting lucky on this trip only because we've seen so many Ford Rangers. Yeah, we have a superstition anytime we're driving around, and if you see more than 20 or 30 in our small little town that we live in, it's kind of a sign to go to the casino. Yeah, so now we're off to uh, Yahat, which is 45 minutes north of us. We drove through it earlier, a uh, cute little town, but we saw some reviews about a really good seafood place, supposedly, called Luna's. So we're gonna go give that a shot right now, and we're gonna use those casino winnings to pay for it. Man, that was some great food at Luna's. It was totally worth making a special trip back up here for it. Um, we're gonna go see if we can't figure out a place to camp for the night. Uh, we've tried calling a few different places and they're not picking up. Uh, but a KOA said that you know they have uh, late night reservations that you can just pull up as long as there's a spot and take it. So we're gonna go see if that works out. If not, we're gonna try and figure something else out. Yeah. Jeff's checking to see if there's any vacancy right now. I don't know. His body language is not suggesting that there is. He looks kind of confused. Did you get one? Yeah, we got one. Woo! Woo! We did end up finding a campsite uh, just outside of Waldport at a KOA. Uh, the after hours registration was actually pretty easy once I you know, figured out all the paperwork. Uh, basically it was just pull up, find an MPD site and uh, say that's where you are and put your debit card or credit card information down or if you have exact change you can pay with cash. Um, we are really bummed that we have to go home tomorrow. But hopefully we will have another adventure plan for you guys in the morning. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we gotta wake up pretty early if we're gonna do that. But sadly, we uh, we gotta wrap things up, guys. Yep, we're leaving.